Hey, it's Sick Boy from the Gaming Rants Collective, and welcome to the first actual Anak Happiness video, which is good because we've got some good news to celebrate. So, uh, first things first, we want to actually just be really thankful to you guys watching that we've just topped 500 subscribers, and I think we're about to get over 20,000 hits. So, that's great. I'm really, really grateful to see that people, that the people who've been embracing this and sharing it and commenting, sending me private messages, I've discussed things with a lot of you guys, those of you who are active, those of you who aren't, feel free to do it, it's always um, nice to exchange views with people, but it's great, so I'm going to have a little bit of a, a, bit of a celebration, because, um, you know, why the fuck not, so I've got a couple of bits of good news to go over today, and I wanted to go over some uh, interesting pickups, because uh, those of you who have been following me know I've actually started trying to rebuild a retro uh, gaming catalogue, mainly because I'm just pissed off with the way things are going, almost like a bit of a disagreement with how the industry is going forward, so I'm going to kind of go back and fill in some of the gaps, and if things go totally tits up, well, I've got plenty of games to keep me going. So, Ooh. you know what, that has never happened to me before, it would happen on video, wouldn't it? Normally, I'm really slick with that. Now I've actually got a lap soaked in champagne, never mind. Still happy. <clears throat> Still good news. So, uh, despite the fact that my hand is now soaking and uh, is wine flavoured, cheers, everybody. I'm glad that was caught on camera because that's fucking hilarious. Okay, right. Two bits of good news. First thing is I am normally the first person to bash gaming journalism for being absolute bullshit. Having no substance, being full of shit, blah de blah de blah de blah de blah, and so on and so on and so on, and they're all twats. Now, I've come across a really good piece that's been put my way um, of some actual genuinely good gaming journalism, where someone has looked at the Devil May Cry issue, looked at the poor sales, looked at the reaction to everything, and actually come back and said, you know what? All you people who were complaining, all you people who called out the people who weren't interested in Devil May Cry and said, oh, you don't like the game, don't buy it, vote with your wallets. Now, don't complain that those people have voted with their wallets and the game hasn't sold very well. He's told it exactly how I, how I would expect and how I would want a journalist to do it. I'll, uh, I'll link the article in the description. This guy has done a great job. It's nice to see a gaming journalist on an actual site with a genuine commercial site with adverts and everything trying to make money off stuff actually saying something that is sensible and that actually defends people's rights as consumers to choose to buy or not to buy a game as much as they like and you know all good stuff so very happy with that and I hope to see more things like that and I think that people when you see, when you see this sort of thing it deserves to be praised because people need to realize that they're going out on a limb here and they deserve recognition for it and I think it's great now, in my previous video, which is uploading right now, I went over uh, the EA have gone back on microtransactions, and I wanted to use this video to go over it in more detail, because this shit makes me happy, and it's funny. This isn't really an angry sort of thing, this is, this is hilarious. I've, I've printed out the, uh, the story and the quote here. Now, for those of you who, uh, who don't recall the, hap the, the issue, uh, Blake Jorgensen, the CFO, the Chief Financial Officer of EA, said, and I quote... We're building into all of our games the ability to pay for things along the way. Either, pardon me, the bubbles from the champagne. Uh, high, either to get to a higher level, to buy a new character, to buy, a, to buy a truck, a gun, whatever it might be. Consumers are enjoying and embracing that way of business. Business? Huh. It's the champagne, it's already gone to my head. Anyway, so that's what he said. That is what he said. That is the quote. That's what I reported on in the first place and called him out as bullshit. Now, he's come back. <laughs> this is fucking... Brilliant. This is flip-flopping at its absolute best, okay? See if you can gain what is actually the truth here. I made a statement along the lines of, we'll have microtransactions in our games. And the community read that to mean all our games, and that's really not true. All of our mobile games would have microtransactions in them because almost all of them are going to the, uh, going to the world where they're pay for free. It will allow someone to take um, 
uh, who maybe played their game for 1,000 hours to play it for 2,000 hours, he said. We are very conscious that we don't want to make consumers feel like they're not getting value. We want to make sure our customers are getting value. <laughs> fucking hell. That is the biggest load of shit I have ever fucking heard. The quote, we're building into all of our games the ability to pay for things as you go al- along the way. How the fuck do you think? Oh, people have misquoted me. I didn't say all our games. I said, uh, I, I, I said we'll have in our games. Bullshit. You were captured, quoted at an industry financial press conference where you said this. You were talking to the big boys. You were talking to the people who are going to back your business, not journalists. You didn't say this at E3. You said this at a commercial conference and you were quoted on it by a journalist and now you are flip-flopping because you've seen precisely the power that the industry consumers have and you are shitting yourself and rightly so because this isn't going to offer you a break. People are still going to come after you. People are still going to boycott your shitty fucking products because your practices suck ass. No matter how good the quality of the games that you bring in-house you fire developers, you do all these shitty things, and this is coming back to haunt you. So enjoy, because you won't be seeing much champagne where you're going, mate. Because you're going to the job centre. Can someone desperately please give me a job? Because basically, I was heading a massive company, and I thought I could run their financial business, and as it turns out, I came up with bullshit indi- uh, bullshit fucking practices. No one wanted it, and the, and the business tanks. Next time I see you in a shirt and tie, mate, I'll be asking for burger and fries. You're a prick. So, that's a bit of good news. So, also, wanted to go over... Some people said they enjoyed this in the past, so I'm going to do a few... The pickups I've had this week, because payday just came and went, so I went and I bought a few bits and pieces. I've still got a few things on the way, but this is the, the crux of what I ordered has arrived. First thing first, I've got a couple of games that... Uh, miss me that I just didn't pick up the first time round when they're available, and I thought, why the hell? What the hell? I've heard decent things, and I picked these up for literally nothing. Lost Planet one and two. Haven't played them before. Have heard relatively good things about them, and I thought literally I picked these up second hand. So fuck you, Capcom, and I picked them up for literally a pound each, like a dollar fifty for each one. So. Brilliant. I'm going to enjoy playing those. Another game that I overlooked. First, I was sucked in by the bad reviews, but it does seem like it's got a fairly bit of charm on its own. And again, this cost I got it second-hand for next to nothing. Near. Those of you who don't know about it, basically it's a kooky as fuck mix. It's mostly an RPG, but it mixes different genres. The champagne bubbles are definitely getting to me. And it's, a, it's an interesting game. Not necessarily one worth a huge amount of money, but... It's meant to be good fun to play. Uh, another thing to build up the retro collection. Rebought a copy of Killer Seven. Used to have a copy of this and got rid of it. With the announcement of Suda 51's uh, Killer Is Dead game, I thought I really should pick up a copy of Killer Seven because that this is the spiritual successor. So I thought, why the hell not? Also, haven't even picked, it, haven't even played it yet. I've been so bloody busy. Still shrink wrapped. Got a copy of Tomb Raider. Also got a copy of Metal Gear Rising a few weeks ago, but I've been playing too much of that for it to be considered new. Anyway, my big thing, and I never had one. This is genuinely a first for me. In my entire life, I've never owned a Sega console. So if I was going to do it, I'd do it big. Just bought myself a Sega Dreamcast. And it cheered me the hell up. Got that. With it, I got a keyboard in the box. Got the keyboard, complete in the box. Got an extra vibration pack, extra controller, there's a memory card in the box as well, and game wise, it came with a slew of games, I got these off eBay. Um, mixed, fairly mixed bag, but you know, something to go on with. Sonic Adventure, House of the Dead 2, Choo Choo Rocket, Crazy Taxi, bit of arcade fun, Tomb Raider Chronicles. Quake 3 Arena, not really too much fun since I can't really play that online. I don't actually think I've even got the option of playing that online. I don't think I've even really got a phone line that will be useful for it. Shadow Man. If you haven't played Shadow Man, um, oh, it's fun. 
it's a bit rough around the edges now. It's very dated, but it's a nice action horror third person game. Uh, if you're not aware of Shadow Man, is basically he's a he's a voodoo zombie warrior. You go between Earth and um, the Shadow. What's it called? Other side or dark side or something? I can't remember. Dead side. Um, it's good fun. I really enjoyed playing this on the N64, so I'm kind of glad. I've still got it on the N64, so it's just kind of nice to have another platform. And the original Code Veronica. You see, this one's used, pre-owned one. Um, which I've got Code Veronica X, so I'd be interested to see how it changes. I know there's a few differences between them. But and it was originally obviously released for the Dreamcast. So that's made me fairly happy, which is the reason for this bit of Anarchy Happiness video. And again, genuinely... So we're so grateful to see the people who have subscribed and, and watched and have commented and who just generally agree with what we've got to say. Um, you know, I'm out here being a mouthpiece and speaking my views on things and it's great to see so much positive feedback. There's been so little negativity and those that, those that it has been, it's either been polite disagreement or the occasional fucking idiot that we've just ignored. But for the most part, it's been fantastic to have, have you guys come along for the ride with us so far. We're going to keep expanding. There are other things we want to keep doing. We're going to keep going and growing. And this is really just the beginning of everything. So, really, guys, I want to give a toast to you guys, to everybody who's watching this. It really means a lot. It means a lot to us that you take your time, that you're interested in what we have to say, and that you give a shit about the gaming industry. Whether you agree or disagree with everything I have to say, I am glad you care enough. I'm glad that you care. And I'm doubly glad that you care and enjoy what we're putting out in the way of these videos. So, here's to you guys. Thanks a lot. 500 subs and 20,000 views will be coming up too soon. We'll just come over 500 subs. Coming up to 20,000 views. I think probably by the time this one's uploaded we might have passed it. Um, fantastic. Really, for us, for this little... Thing. We're not doing this for money. We're doing this for love of the love of the industry and love wanting it to improve. So, thanks for helping this, making this happen, guys. Because to be honest, this could have been a really failed experiment. This could have received a couple of a couple of views, and it would have just gone quietly into the night. So, cheers, guys. Here's to you. Take care of yourselves.